This video will give you an overview of the layout of SA. Once a case is associated, we will have a patient record icon in the menu bar. This will open up the patient's record in PowerChart without having to search for it. At the top, we have the menu bar, followed by the demographics bar, the time bar, documentation tool on the left hand side, action zone at the bottom, and the charting zone. The menu bar has icons that allow quick access to certain tasks and actions. This will be covered in a later video. On the menu bar, if you still have charge preview, inventory and medication screening, these may as well be removed as they currently serve no purpose. This is also covered in another video. Please note intake covers IV fluids and blood components. The demographics bar shows patient and operation details. You can click the plus to add and change details for ASA, theatre and anaesthesia type. Allergies, height and weight will automatically pull through from PowerChart. Recent orders and results can be viewed by clicking the icon without having to open PowerChart. The green monitor dot on the right hand side with a cross means that currently there are no monitors automatically populating the record. This will be covered in more detail in a later video. You can hover over the green monitor dot to view details about device association and monitors. Within the time bar, the time in yellow is the current time. This corresponds to the yellow line down the page. This is set to auto scroll unless you manually move the time positions using the left and right arrows. You can also move all the way to the beginning of the chart using the other left arrow and all the way to the current time using the other right arrow. When you scroll all the way back to the current time, this will automatically restart auto scroll. You can also zoom in and out of the chart by using the plus and minus icons. Please note to zoom in, you use the minus button and zoom out, you use the plus button. It may be easier to think of them as showing less time by zooming in or more time by zooming out. On the left hand side of the chart is the documentation tool. This can be hidden and shown using the arrow. You can choose between to do list, documentation, reminders and deficiencies. This is the to do list. This will automatically be populated once you execute a macro. Next is the documentation tool. You can choose from tabs on the left hand side and choose categories from the bottom, such as drug class. Items within the documentation tool can be dragged and dropped onto the chart or double clicked med intake output actions to edit and add. Next is the reminders section. Here you can add reminders for things like neuromuscular blockade and ABGs. Lastly is deficiencies. This will show you a list of deficiencies in your record that will need attention prior to finalising the record. If you have any questions about the content of this video, please contact the digital training team at SASH.